Thanks for joining me for this video. I thought I would just share with you a small around the off-grid homestead project, and that is adding a deadbolt to any door. We picked up this door as part of our reclaimed materials, so it's not the best looking door, but it is a steel security door, and it's perfect for our needs right now. And so we're going to add a deadbolt to this just to add a little bit more security and a little more peace of mind. Of course, a deadbolt really just keeps an honest man honest, so if somebody wanted to, they throw a rock through your window and they're in your house. This is just one of those things that you can do to make sure your possessions are reasonably protected. So let's dive into the process of adding a deadbolt to this security door. So we picked up this Schlag deadbolt and handle combo. And the reason we picked this one was because it actually has a keyless entry on the deadbolt. Um, that's something that we wanted to wait patiently for. And we found this on discount or closeout at Home Depot. And so you can usually find these types of things at quite a bit of a discount if you just wait patiently and check that closeout area. Uh, if you buy them new, they're probably around 120 to $150. And I think we paid just around $90 for this one. So really quick, the reason we chose a deadbolt for this door is because we use this door a lot and coming in and out with a key on the knob is pretty inconvenient. So we'd like this door to be open during the day and then use the deadbolt when we're either sleeping or when we're away. And that, that keeps the access high and the inconvenience low. Another reason we chose the deadbolt is it does give you a higher level of security. As you probably know, picking a doorknob lock is pretty easy to do. Deadbolts take a little bit more effort. And so a deadbolt with a good strike plate is pretty firm. Somebody can still kick the door in if they really wanted to, but it takes a lot more effort than just breaking a door handle. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is remove the existing doorknob that's on here so that we can get access to this hole, which we're going to use to align the deadbolt hole. All right, let's get started. Okay, now that we have the knob off, we're going to use a small level, find the center of this hole, and then make a measurement up above it where we can add the deadbolt. Okay, I did a little bit of checking on that deadbolt unit and it does look like I need to give myself a little bit more room. It's designed to go on a normal door, so most of the extra space is above it instead of below it. But I wanna give ourselves a little bit of room to get the hand in there to move the door handle because it's gonna go up. And if you hit that with your, your hand, well, you won't be able to get the door open. So I'm gonna move it up another half an inch. So I'm allowing for two inches between the deadbolt and the doorknob. So we're gonna put that up another two inches. All right, I have everything marked out, so I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling. I've got a two inch hole saw bit uh, that's designed to drill this type of hole. It'll drill all the way through for us, through the metal and the core of the door. So let's drill that hole, and then we'll work on the hole for the plunger. All right, very good. So let's work on the hole for the plunger, which is going to go this direction. We're gonna use our level to come across the middle here and mark a center line on that. And then we're gonna drill a one inch hole through here so that we can put the plunger in. very good so we've got our plunger hole drilled so we can add that in there we are going to need to do a little bit of chiseling just to make a flush mount for the plate on the the plunger and then uh, after we're done doing that chiseling we're gonna go ahead and drill the hole in the door frame to allow the plunger to penetrate there so uh, let's get this chiseled out we'll drill that hole and then we should be able to put everything together and give it a try
Okay, very good. We've got the hole and the slot for the plunger to fit in. In fact, we're gonna use this extra security plate they're calling it. It comes with a couple of really long screws, uh, although they probably won't penetrate perfectly because our door jam is shaped a little bit weird. But we're gonna go ahead and use this security plate, so we'll install that first, and then we'll install the normal uh, security plate which goes over the front. So let's get those put on there. What's the password? Jesse's incredibly sexy, handsome, and strong, and I love him. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. But nope, that's not the password. Sorry. Try again. I'll buy you pizza tonight. Ding, ding, ding. That's the one. Yes. Getting pizza tonight. Oh. All right, very good. So our deadbolt is now installed and everything works really good. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the door handle, the new door handle that came with this set installed and our security will be good to go. If you enjoyed watching this video and you wanna learn more about our off-grid homesteading project, please subscribe to our YouTube channel first of all. We'll put a subscribe button right here by the lock. So please click that button to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And also follow us on our blog. We do a lot of blog posts that don't end up on YouTube. So follow us over there. It's purelivingforlife.com. We'll put a link to that in the description below. And then we'll also put a link to our social media channels, which are Facebook and Instagram. Please follow us over there so you can get some of the micro posts, the real-time updates, and we'll see you in the next video.